Hello everyone and welcome back to the next episode of Legend of Zelda Scabbard Sword HD. Last episode we met up with the um, Fire Dragon, also known as Din, and got all of our stuff back from the, the Coblins that were holding us hostage. This episode we're going to go and head off to the Lenairu region and see about another dragon, I guess. Okay, heading into the Lanairu region, we actually have quite a bit to actually go over. Here we go, heading down. Let's go and see what's going on here. Lanairu, we actually have a regular landing spot, unlike the other ones. Okay, let me just go into the Lanairu mine entry, if I can even aim properly. See, we're down on the ground. Gorko up there wants to talk, or I don't I don't know if that is Gorko, actually. That might be me being wrong. Let's go ahead and use our hook shots. It's Golo. Yeah, I was completely wrong. Sorry, Golo. Hello, hello, Link. How's your search for the sacred flame going? Did you find it? I've been dying to hear whether you found it. Well, did you? So after that wild, long adventure, you found it. Link, you are truly amazing. You know, I think it is time I tell you um, what I found about the Legend of the Three Dragons. I'm certain there's a hidden area just beyond here in the desert. You see, I found a narrow passageway, but it was too, t too tight for me to fit through. And my gut tells me that one of the Three Dragons of Legend the Thunder Dragon lives there. The robots are connected to him somehow. I'm sure of it, bud. Mm. The Thunder Dragon, robots, and time shift stones. Oh. What an adventure! I just remembered, Link. I've got something to report on the um, excavation project you invested in earlier. I found loads of time shift stones. Now I can pay you back ten times what you gave me. Thanks, Golo. I mean, I'll take the money, but if he really excavated that area and found a passageway he couldn't fit through, I mean, that works out for us. I mean, there really is a dragon back there. Well, I, I very much appreciate it. Okay. These are the hook shots. I guess this um little shortcut wasn't too out of the way for anything. We did have a use for it, after all. Okay, heading back in the Lanairu Caves, and yeah, he did clear it out. Guessing that, yeah. We already have full bombs, I'll take that, and oh, we don't have full bombs. Okay, because we're gonna have to roll a bomb in there. Let's go and throw that in there, and pick this up. Hey, buddy, let's go. I always like rolling into those holes because Link doesn't look normal whenever he does it. I'm going to be completely honest. They aren't the best things ever. Let's go and clear up these dust piles. I wonder why these dust piles are even here. They must have rupees in them, I'm guessing. Anyway, because they wouldn't be here otherwise. They're just here for decoration. Okay. Set piece. And... Another Sheikah Stone. Boing! Monster Claw, I'll always take those. I mean, we have no use for them, but I'll always take them. Two rupees. And another bomb spot. Technically, there are bugs behind me that I can go and get while we're waiting for that, I guess. Here, get those two Lanairu ants. They're not really gonna have much. Where are you gonna go, buddy? Okay. I feel bad. I kind of just sent him into that. Okay. This is Lanairu Gorge. Tales tell of a um, dragon loyal to the goddess living in this area. Okay. 
Signs, in, signs indicate that an ancient civilization established a quarry here to mine um, the deposit of high quality time shift stones. Consequently, the terrain is intricately subdivided in the remnants of long abandoned mining equipment, such as minecarts and their tracks. Okay, another area to explore in Lanaru. Lanaru is really the exploration um, region, and I'm always there for it. It's it's a good region. There's nothing about it. There's no problems that I have with Lanaru. I don't think anybody can have problems with Lanaru. That's kind of the big point. Um, interesting. Lan Lanaru. This, this isn't what I think it is, is it? That's not foreboding at all. Um, let's go and explore a bit more before we make conclusions and jump to conclusions. Let's go and just bomb this area while we're at it. Okay, let's head off. Jump over here. Check that in just a second. Is there anything down here that we can have? Well, there's a dig spot. If I know a dig spot, it's either rupees or bugs. And it's a bug that killed itself. <laughs> of course. Because that is Lanai is staple. Ants that just, you know, jump off a ledge instead of getting caught in a bug net. Can't really do he anything here. Okay. Anything for you to tell me? The entry to this area ahead is allowed only by the permission of um, Thunder Dragon Lanayru. Yeah, kind of didn't want to assume that, but knowing that his name is right there on the HD version, the HD version doesn't really lead you to a better standpoint. So a key, huh? There's a hand. Chain. Okay. Is there something down there? Yes! This is where the camera in the HD version can help. Actually, for something that wasn't available to you in the original Wii version. Down there is the key, and we can use the beetle to go and get it. Okay. Let's go and see, buddy. Oh, no. I don't know if I'm going to reach it. There we go. Got it. You got a small key. Yay. Let's go. Oh. S sorry, you don't need any of those, do you? I, I just don't like the sound effect that came with it. It really felt like I was running on his bones there, and I and I and I kinda don't like that. Well, I was running on his bones. That was kinda disrespectful. Um Let's go and see what else we can do in this region with him standing right there. Time shift stones are a thing. We can do something, I would guess. We have pea hats. Pea hats. Every time I see pea hats, I just think of um, the one of the Game Boy Zelda commercials. Or wait, no, I think it was Zelda 1 or something like that. It was one of the Zelda commercials, but like they were going over the enemy varieties. And they were like, P-P-P-P-Head! And it, it's just a good comedic thing. We have sand cicadas, we have a robot that's unpowered, and we have a time system. Let's go and see, buddy. Okay. He's down there mining with his little mining claws. I, I actually like those mining claws. Those things are just cool. You can talk to him. There are lots of big time shift stones here. Zert, did you get permission from the Master Thunder Dragon to come here like we did? Vroom. We were just about to transport this time shift stone to Master Thunder Dragon. Weep. Ooh. There are many monsters. I've, I've always liked the headcanon where, like, his text box cuts off whenever, um, 
he stop whenever he stops existing. So that's what I go for. So open this up because we already knew it was gonna hit the wall anyway. And we got like a kind of an escort mission with our little buddy. He's going to take care of you. He's going to take care of you. Ooh, ooh. Ornamental skull, give me that. Take care of you. Man, that took a while, but like, it worked. Oh, get rid of you. So we're just gonna be taking care of enemies. Honestly, fine. You might recall I said that um, my favorite revisit out of these three vi revisits is Elden last like a couple episodes ago, like probably two episodes ago. Either that or last episode it was. It's because I think that that's the best Elden has to offer. It's not that I think that Lanai Regorge is bad, because I really love Lanai Regorge overall. Lanai Regorge is a cool area, and as you're seeing right now, there's a lot to do with it. And it really proves the point that Lanai Ru is pretty much the best region in the entire game. But I just feel like that cell section is the best that Elden has to offer. And... I'm gonna stick by that. That's my favorite revisit out of the dragon revisits because it's the best It's the best that Elden has to offer in my opinion It's just the like whole color palette how like it looks the night variant and everything how the lighting looks from the fire and everything the Unlink's face The whole stealth section because I'm a sucker for stealth sections in Zelda games always has been like how I feel with Zelda games Oh, 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 no, die, die, die. I don't want to be on here whenever, <laughs> uh. but yeah, it's not that I hate this area. I do think that Lan Eru is the strongest overall in the game, and I'm not going to take that away from Lan Eru. I just feel like the best revisit, in my opinion, is the Elden region, just because I like cell sections, and I do feel like that's the best land or er, Elden has to offer, and the best a region has to offer versus the best that Elden or er, Lanaru had to offer was the Sand Sea. Gorge is not the best that um, Lanaru has to offer, so in my opinion, it doesn't really like change much in my mind. Um, Lanaru is still good overall. In Gorge is still a really good area on top of it. Okay. Let's go and head down. We have like this little puzzly thing with steam. I don't know how steam is coming out of walls in a cave, but I mean, you gotta respect the tenacity of it. There's gotta be some pipes in there. Something like that. Let's go and use our claw shots. Finally got the name right. Yes. Oh, whoops, whoops, wait, wait a minute. It, I, I was on the right one, okay. I was like, I was like, I need to, I need to change myself up. Here we are. Okay, we have a little cave area to go through. Let's go and wait for this one to show up. I really like the concept of this. Having to follow the minecart as we're making it back. To go and try to revive the Thunder Dragon. I mean, it's a cool concept. And it definitely isn't like, oh yeah, you're gonna climb a whole mountain. Or you're gonna do an underwater section. Because some dragon is a pain. Oh my god, I thought they couldn't get close. And once the music started, I was like, wait a minute, what? Because they just kind of disappear as the thing goes. These bats are, you know... Just living in caves or keys. Well, these keys are just living in caves is the aesthetic because, well, bats, caves, it's kind of just their thing. Gotta make sure not to hit the time shift stone. I feel like I'm gonna accidentally hit that one of these times and it's gonna like completely screw me over. Get rid of you, get rid of you. And we have a section for our whip. We're using a lot of items for this as well. I also like how this section requires you to use like a lot of your items. 
Get rid of you. I wouldn't recommend spin attack most of the time, but yeah, it works. We have a new type of trap. Not enemy, but trap. Spike traps. They're a Zelda staple. Okay, get rid of you. <laughs> I love spin, atta spin attacking them. They just die so fast. Let's go and use our whip to get over. And I'm gonna miss my chance. <laughs> Let's go and get ready with this one so I don't miss my chance. Let's go and get rid of you guys. Ooh, heart. Wait, wait a minute. That heart was a red herring. No, no. I really wanted it. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's tank the damage. We lost. We ended up wanting to get all of our hearts back, or I ended up wanting to get all my hearts back, and then I lost all of my other hearts. Great. How many hearts did I lose to that? I can't climb that for whatever re Oh, I see exactly what we're doing now. I'm gonna climb up here. Stamina gauge. Uh, I mean, it works. Get some of our hearts back, and now we're just missing four. And I wanna get down there as soon as possible. We have another room to go and deal with enemies. Oh, oh, what happened there? Wait a minute, I still hit him though. What? This is the first time that that's happened. I still hit him. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. You know what? That's a bad, that was a bad on me. That was a bad on me. That was a bad on me. This, this is one of the times where you can fight the sentry over ground, actually. Actually, I'm not going to take care of that, because I can fight this dude, and I can get rupees at him. This is like one of the times in the game where you can actually fight this dude over land, and you can collect all of his rupees, technically, in a standpoint. As you can see, some of his rupees are over quicksand, which means I won't be able to grab them unless I try to sacrifice myself, which I did. And I fell through a track. <laughs> I'm just magic like that. If you fall in this room, you restart the room. Did not want to do that, but also at the same time, don't really care that much that I'm redoing this room because it's not that long. It's not really that much of a punishment. And I mean, if you want rupees, you can technically grind it because this thing is still alive. Let's go and try to take care of you faster. That way we can probably get rid of or get rupees faster, right? Ow. Okay. Fire your thing. Let's go, buddy. Oh, that's a red rupee. I want that so bad. But you know what? That makes up for it. 45 out of, like, 65. Not bad. Well, no, actually, 70 out of, um, 80 was, isn't bad. Because I didn't see that last one. We have you. Deal with you. We're gonna have more... Beamos. We can use our bow here, technically. But, um, I'm just kind of doing it the fast way. My Beyblade attack. Don't really use the spin attack much. But, it, but it's always useful. <laughs> it definitely takes out these electric enemies fast. Okay, we have to use our whip to open this door. If it... For some reason, the camera wasn't high enough for me to lock on. I think I needed to back up. <laughs> but, uh, again, HD version. Can control the camera at will. Need to remember that. So the thing that I keep forgetting about... And I don't know how I keep forgetting about it, because it's one of the selling points of this version. And it's a, and it's a point that actually was needed. <laughs> that is gladly appreciated. Okay. We have that right there, and we have a bomb for our beetle. Let's go, beetle friend. Okay. Time to blow up the rock while not blowing up the time shift stone because we can do that and that would be horrible for all of us so make sure we don't hit that but yeah as you can see like this this is a long area this is a lot of content 
I do think that this area is really good. Overall. I just think that I personally like Lanaru more. And that's just personal and preference. And... Okay. He did not want to let me get through. Okay. We're doing it again. Great. My Joy-Cons did not want to let me center there. Okay. Now I'm at a better place. Okay. Now I can actually do this. So this one's going to be back. Hit him. We can at least get a heart back from our falling. Okay. The rock is gone, so we can still move. Nice. Pull out attack is probably the best on these, um... Get rid of you, because it's one slice, because Master Sword exists. Okay. Let's head up the stairs with it. Nah, I think I'm good. I'm just gonna run. Or it's gonna beat me to the punch. We got permission from our master thunder dragon to dig for time shift stones, Weep. But master thunder dragon is very ill right now. Zert. I'm worried about him, Vroom. At this rate, our master may cease functioning, Vroom. Okay. Let's check on him. <laughs> <coughs> oh. oh, hello. I haven't had a visitor like you here in quite a while. You're a human, aren't you? You must have some reason for coming this far. What is it? <laughs> I see. So you're Link from the Sky. <coughs> That's not much of a name, is it? How about I add a model number to your name like my friends have got? Maybe LD Link 16. Oh. I can tell you don't like the sound of that name. That's a shame. <coughs> so, what can I do for you? Oh. You say you need me to teach you a song. <coughs> Hold on now. Didn't you say you came from the sky, Link? Um, well, then, you're the hero chosen by the goddess, aren't you? I see. Well, that is something. Although I must apologize. You see, I can't really help you right now. I may have enough strength for a brief chat like this, but, well, you can see I'm quite ill. <laughs> I am in no shape to sing. And to think that the goddess herself, who entrusted me with this important duty, I feel the deepest shame. <laughs> well, yeah. We've seen that he eventually dies of this illness, so... We'll have to just change the history of time. I mean... Can't be that hard, can it? So, I mean, next episode we might as well do that. This is Rodon Herder here, signing out. See you guys in the next one.